What is up, y'all? Welcome back to the MG Truck Series here on As I was saying, welcome back to Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. Welcome back to the MG Truck Series here on Fox Sports 1. We are at the Auto Club Speedway, one of the best events last season. Really, all of the tracks and races put on a show last year, but we're back for year two. New, slightly different uh, trucks here. A little bit smaller, less bulky, a little more rounded in shape. Getting ready to kick things off here. From the Auto Club Speedway at a two mile oval. This is a big boy track. The third race of the year. Second race of the West Coast Swing. Getting ready to kick things off. We've got the nine of Justin Marks on pole, who's dominated the last two races, winning them both at the Walt Disney World Speedway and Phoenix. Now looking to go back to back to back. Three times in a row here from Auto Club Speedway. He's got Johnny Benson to his outside as the green flag waves. And let's talk about Chad McCombie starting P3. It is a really great starting spot for him. An underdog in today's race once again starting up front just like at Phoenix. He's going to have a real shot as we head down into one and two. Can he get down and block that 30 truck of top Bodine? Bodine checks up a little bit. Going to... Stay in line with that number eight truck. Try and push him down the back straight away as we head off of turn number two. Down the back stretch for the first time. A little bit of three wide further back. You can see just how wide the racing surface is when everybody is choosing to bunch up towards the top. They all wanted to get that good arc into the corner. This is an extremely gripped up track. They're barely able to run flat out, but they have to arc it in perfectly if they want to do so. If you're down on the bottom, you will have to lift on corner entry. You'll see that a lot throughout the day. As Justin Marks leads the first lap, here comes Johnny Benson. The only driver that's been able to sniff the rear bumper of that nine truck. Johnny Benson, not one to mess with either. Quite possibly the championship rival for that nine truck. As we head down the back stretch and in the turn three yet again. Three wide, back down to two. Double file heading through. Three and four, now coming off turn four. Here comes McCombie, here comes Benson. Now getting a push from that number 30 of Bodine. Bodine, where's he gonna go? He's got a truck to his outside. He's gonna have to pull out and make the move to the inside of Benson heading down into turns one and two. It's all about keeping your momentum up. If you have to lift a little bit, you're gonna lose a whole lot of ground just based on how close these guys are to each other. I mean, look at how bunched the field is. This race went caution free last season. Can we do it again now that we have a set distance for the race? Going forward, McCombie rolls the middle lane, able to pin that two truck down and carry his momentum through the corner. Here comes the 30 as well. Right on the back bumper, he's going to pull out on that 23 truck. He's going to try it again here, heading down into one and two. Can he get it to work this time by side by side through one and two? Coming off turn two now. Still side by side down the back stretch. They're still neck and neck going at it for the lead. And down in the three and four yet again. Still door to door. The 23 had the edge. The 30 has the run. The 23 is going to have the momentum coming out of the corner. Still dead even side by side. Now the 23 is going to get a good push from McCombie down the front straight away as Chad McCombie tucks right in behind Johnny Benson. Just the marks doing a great job controlling the lanes, giving both lanes a good amount of draft and keeping them side by side behind them. Goes back up to block the top, giving the 23 to draft now. These guys are leaning on each other, inches apart, trying to side draft, trying to do anything they can to suck each other back. But it looks like the 30 of Bodine is finally going to prevail, or will he? The 23 is still... Oh, we got a car, a truck spinning in the back. It's the 97 of Chris Mack sliding through the grass. Finish 
won, uh, finished second last season, pushed his driver Val Wolf to the win. Unfortunately, he's going to spin early on in this one. Caution is out for the first time tonight and the first time ever in a truck race here at Auto Club. Racing back to the caution flag, the nine. Heading through three and four. The 30 of Bodine finally did clear, but now he's got the two of Jack Sprague to his inside. That's another truck to worry about. Here comes the eight of McCombie looking low. McCombie is going to push the two, but he's not quite going to keep him in front of that 30 truck coming back to the caution flag. But let's see what happened to Chris Mack to bring out the yellow. For a long slide through the grass and... Looks like he linked up with his teammate slash driver yet again here. I was going to try it again. But she checked up on corner exit. He washed up the racetrack a little bit. Going to try and hop back in line here, it seems. She also gets loose. Tries to avoid again. Catches her with the left front. And just weight hadn't shifted back to the right side of the truck fast enough i guess and wow look at that rear end of the truck floating through the air we saw him have that scary crash in the daytona 500 where he went airborne and flipped over and scary to see these trucks doing the same thing here as the rear end picked up off the ground and let's watch it one more time in super slow-mo as we slow things way down here rear end of the truck up in the air Way off the ground. Truck got very light, but luckily it does come back down. So that's what brings out the first caution of the day. Let's take a look, or let's go ahead and jump back into things here as we get ready for our first restart here with the trucks. And got them bunched back up yet again. Getting ready to send them off one more time. Marks and Bodine, your top two. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. We're racing once again. Bodine got a great jump up on the top. Can he clear the nine of Justin Marks? Heading down in the turns one and two. Marks looks like he's going to keep his nose in there. Yes, he will. Side by side for the race lead. Johnny Benson knows how fast that nine truck is. These are teammates out in front racing for the lead right now. Jermaine racing, controlling this race. But Benson does know how fast that 9 truck is. Wants to push that 30 truck out in front of Marks here. So the rest of the field can have a chance. But the 30 backs out. Looks like he's going to allow Marks to continue the, to try and lead this race. But now here comes the 2 of Jack Sprague all over his back bumper down the front straightaway. Sprague now comes down in front of his teammate in the 33. That's Ron Hornaday Jr. Is that his teammate? I don't know. I think that's KHI, right? Kevin Harvick? Oh, contact. McCombie and Bodine got together. Going to get a great flyby off of turn 2 here. Down the back stretch yet again. Three wide. Further back as we head into turns three and four. Kyle Bush with a very aggressive move down on the bottom. Can he get it to work? Somehow does not get tight. Keeps his momentum up and he's going to get past at least one truck. It's the four of Stacey Compton that he got by right there in the middle. Out in front though is still all Justin Marks. Three and four wide further behind. Far away angle from the grandstands there. Four wide. Jason White contact. They're going to keep it straight. Nearly a wreck. Still four wide. Back down to three now. Three wide further up for a top five spot. And looks like they've sorted out that four wide for the, for the meantime. Wide. Looking at four again. If that 23 had slid up the racetrack any further and wasn't able to pull it back down to the bottom, it would have definitely been a three wide scenario. These trucks running wide open. Flat out around here. Not as fast as those MG Cup cars on these mile and a half and two mile ovals. But 
they do run unrestricted at Daytona and Talladega. That's why they go so fast. These trucks do have some speed on. Oh, whoa. Yeah, about a 10 mile an hour difference on these types of tracks here. But the difference with plate tracks. Oh, we got a wreck back there. Two trucks up to the outside wall. It looks like Chris Mack is in it again. And it's Timothy Peters along with him. Mack in that 97 truck. Not having a great night. Rear end of that truck completely destroyed now. As he tries to get that thing rolling once again. Side by side through three and four. Coming off of turn number four. Justin Marks is going to win the race back to the caution flag yet again. With Ron Hornaday edging out the 30 of Bodine for second. The field is going to catch the pace car. And we're going to bunch him back up and try it again here. But man, it's been a rough race for Chris Mack. Let's see what happened to him here. Like he linked back up with Val and then just got dumped by the 20 of Legacy. Oh man, hard into the outside wall. Tore the rear end of that truck all to pieces. And what was Legacy trying to do there? Stuck in, stuck his nose in very late with that move. Dove down to the inside. Couldn't hold it. Slides up. Gives that 97 no space. Both trucks slide. The 20 is going to save it. Unfortunately for Chris Mack, he got hit, hit hard enough. There's no saving it. Hard lick into the door from the 17, and he backs it into the wall really hard. You can see he's on the brakes trying to get that thing slowed up enough, but... Most of that slide, most of that slide is rear, it's all four of his tires were off the ground from the impact from that 17 truck. Watch it once, once again, here in slow motion, the impact from the 17, boom, gets the front tires up off the ground, all four tires off the ground. It comes back down and backs into the wall extremely hard. So holding the brake wouldn't have done anything at that point. As we saw. It's a really hard hit to go on board now with the 97 of Chris Mack here. Let's see what he saw from the rear end of his truck. Oh, man. No, it's got to be very frustrating for him here. He had climbed halfway back up through the field already in that short time from the restart. And looks like it's just not his night. Val Wolf is all on her own now. No help from her team owner, her boss, her close friend, her best friend, if you will. And looks like she's got to figure something out on her own. No teammates, no help. But Chad McCombie up there also has no teammates to help him, so he's held his own, so he might not, she might be all right. Green flag back in the air. How about Ron Hornaday Jr. getting the jump on the top side? He got an even bigger jump than that 30 truck did last time by. Can he clear the nine of marks? No, the nine had too good of a push from the 30 of Bodine. His teammate pushed him back out in front. The two Jermaine racing trucks out in front now. Top two are teammates. Top three are Toyotas. Here we go down the back stretch yet again. And I do want to apologize. This track is not flat out completely. You do have to lift slightly getting into the corner. We saw, you saw t Chris Max telemetry there. He was letting off slightly on corner entry so yeah you do have to kind of feather the throttle don't have to lift completely don't have to hit the brakes but you do have to let off a little bit that's why we're seeing this is a more of a game of momentum and draft rather than your typical race like on a mile and a half down the back stretch yet again the 23 right on the rear bumper of that nine truck now diving to the inside can johnny benson get to the lead he's gonna slide up side draft that nine truck can he pull him back far enough to take the lead at the stripe no not yet but he's gonna stay right on his left rear quarter panel he's trying to bring him back trying to bring him back 
is going to get a great arc in a one and two. Coming through turns one and two. Can he clear him? We got a wreck in the... No, we don't. I'm just... That's tire squealing. My fault. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was wrecking. But here we go. Side drafting again. Heading into three and four. And Chad McCombie now. Trying to peek his nose to the inside. I think that was more just to get some clean air to the nose and avoid blowing that thing up. Riding right behind that 23 truck. Here we go. Down in the one and two yet again. Past halfway now in this race. The field flying by down the back straightaway. One wrecking in the back. It's Chris Mack down by the inside wall yet again. Something wrong with that truck and he's just gonna go ahead and take it behind the wall. He's done for today. He's just gonna try and avoid bringing out the caution and we're gonna stay green. Chris Mack with a spin at the rear of the field. It's definitely not been his night. Had high hopes, high expectations heading into this one and unfortunately they did not come to fruition but Let's talk about our leader, Chad McCombie has done it. He's taken the lead down the back straightaway and now trying to defend it. Three wide behind him for second. Here comes Benson back to the inside. It's a great arc in the turns, three and four. Can he carry that momentum through the corner? Here comes the 15 truck as well as Mark Mitchell in the 15. Or is it Mason Mitchell? I, I have to look at the names. They're three wide down in the one and two yet again. It's been close quarters racing from the from the word go. This is uh, Mark Mitchell, I believe. Yep, that's Mark Mitchell in that 15 truck. Lots of three wide, crazy racing at the front of the field, but we've got some side by side for the lead now. Big push down the back straightaway from Justin Marks. We're catching the lap truck. It's the 17 of Timothy Peters. Peters off the pace with damage to that 17 truck. Where's he gonna go? He's gonna pull to the top of the racetrack. That's gonna block in somebody. Contact made with Jack Sprague. The aid of McCombie pulled high. He was able to avoid, but a lot of trucks behind are gonna get held up. Mo mainly the ones on the outside line. They have nowhere to go. They're trying to get down and get out of the way. Now they're finally able to get past. Boy, oh boy, that is not ideal. And his sets are his teammates able to get through. Now back up towards the front. It is Justin Marks' race to lose once again. Drives into the corner. Absolutely drives away as they're three wide behind him. Here comes Matt crafting into the picture. That shuffled things up big time. Different names now. New names into the mix. Matt Crafton, we haven't talked about him yet tonight. He's here now, ready to rumble from Auto Club Speedway as you see the eight of Chad McCombie side by side with him now. McCombie, Crafton, the 11 of David Starr into the mix. Shelby Howard in the 13 into the picture as well, down on the inside. How about John Wood in the 21? Johnny Benson in the 23 truck as well. Landon Castle in the 46. He's been fast on these drafting tracks. Stacy Compton is in the mix. He's got a push from Star. Star's going to pull out, or at least he thought about it. Will he do it? No, he won't. The side's against it. Crafton's falling back. He's got his teammate in the 13 to the inside. The Thor Sport trucks side by side for P5. Further back, it's all single file. Starting to double up and triple up now. Can anybody catch Justin Marks, who clearly has the strongest truck here tonight? 
I don't know. We're gonna have to wait and see. These boys back here are busy racing each other extremely hard for second. And Stacy Compton is gonna clear the eight truck of McCombie. But now here comes Crafton with a full head of steam. A big push from the 30 of Bodine. Now Bodine pulls out, making it three wide. Look at Andy Lally in the seven diving down to the bottom. Oh boy, gets the door slammed on him by Landon Castle. Castle's loose. He slides up the racetrack. Now here comes Lally to the inside. They're four wide off turn number four. Back down at three. Up front. Marks continues to lead. It's 11 laps to go here from Auto Club Speedway. Three wide for P3. Crafton through the middle has a huge head of steam, but so does the 30. But Crafton's going to have to run off the banking. Here we go down the back stretch yet again. Crafton in the draft of that four truck. It's going to get a huge run heading down into three and four. Can he catch Stacy Compton? Yes, he will. He gets to his inside. He still has a huge run. And now he's going to get a draft from the nine of Marks. Justin Marks is going to pull that 88 alongside the four of Compton. Now goes back up, giving Compton the draft, trying to keep these two side by side, heading through one and two to slow each other down. But it's going to work out in Crafton's favor. He clears that four truck, slides up in front of him now to block his run. Can he get a push down the back straightaway? And the 30 also getting a push from the 8 as well. McCombie, though, pulls out three wide yet again. Here comes Crafton. Crafton has a run. McCombie loose. The 30 truck also loose. Both trucks wiggling through the corner. Very loose, very out of control. Nine laps to go this time by. And look at Matt Crafton. Crafton has... Let's see... Neither the 9 or the 88 have anywhere near the fastest lap due to being at the front of the field. But they do have the fastest trucks, clearly, as Crafton is the only one that's been able to catch that 9 truck after he's pulled away on a long run. And now, right up behind, Justin Marks heading through turns 3 and 4 yet again, coming to 8 laps to go. This time by both drivers now lined up at the top of the order the top two spots here comes the eight of mccombie he's got to run the draft a big factor with these trucks the trucks a lot bigger punch a bigger hole through the air it's a much greater factor here comes the eight of mccombie but he doesn't have any help mccombie to the inside we got more lap trucks coming up it's the 17 of timothy peters again it's even running minimum speed and the 37 of gary st amont Timothy Peters, oh boy, where's he gonna go this time? Tried the outside last time. He's gonna stay in the middle this time as they split him. The 30 is gonna get checked up big time there. His teammate Setzer gets by with no problem. Lots of other trucks getting bunched up back here. They don't know where to go. Big time drama with that 17 truck and we're not done because we still got to deal with the 37 as well gary st amont right in front of our leaders that split the field up big time they're four wide back here a little more further back trying to get by peters they're gonna sort all that out come down into one and two yet again three wide Now that I think about it, I think I put the wrong sound pack in for these trucks, but it's cool. Heading through. Turns three and four, yet again. The nine of Marks, the eight of McCombie. The four of Compton, the 23 of Benson. Our top players all night. The 18 of Setzer looking to spoil the party as well. Sneaking up into the mix, the 30 of Odine, the 88 of Crafton looking to catch. We've got five laps to go. Coming around to four to go this time by. 
anything can happen in this short amount of time. More lap trucks. Benny Gordon in a 66 truck. Way off the pace as well here. Four to go. Will lap traffic play a factor? More than it already has. Side by side. Here comes Dennis Setzler sneaking up into second place. He's really trying to get up there and steal this one. Heading down into three and four yet again. Setzer, Benson, here comes Bodine on the inside. They're three wide off of turn number four. Three laps to go. And Johnny, uh, Justin Marks is going to get held up by the 66. Here comes Johnny Benson diving down low. Benson has a huge head of steam heading down into turns one and two, but gets way low in the racetrack. Had to check up. Not much grip down there on the very bottom of the track. The 18 of Sets are getting held up. The 4 of Compton is going to also get held up. The Sets are moved out of line to avoid that 66 truck. Now all of them are stuck back there. The top 4 are the only ones that managed to break away. It's Marks. It's Benson. It's Bodine. It's Crafton. Out in front of the rest of the field with 2 laps to go. Here from Auto Club. Three wide for the race lead. Here comes Bodine. Here comes Benson on the inside. Three wide through one and two. Johnny Benson with the run is going to clear both of them off turn number two. Here comes Matt Crafton to push him down the back straight away. Crafton, huge run. Heading into three and four. To the inside goes Crafton. Both trucks clear craft and sneaking from fourth to second and now looking for the lead off turn number four we're going to see the white flag this time by one lap to go here from auto club and how about the 15 of mark mitchell sneaking back into the picture where did he come from Ted Musgrave in the 59 is in the mix. Jack Sprague coming back. Stacy Compton coming back. Crafton, can he clear the 23? No, not yet. Here comes the 15 of Mitchell. They're going to be three wide heading down in the turns. Three and four for the final time. Crafton shuts the door on the 15. Can he clear up on that 23 truck? Benson. Crafton cleared him. Matt Crafton, what a move. Fourth to first is going to win at Auto Club. Oh my goodness. First career win for Matt Crafton. He does it at Auto Club Speedway in dramatic fashion. Let's go back and take another look at that move he made for the win. Watch this. He's running fourth as we head through one and two has a huge run a huge head of steam down the back straight away does not lift uses the draft of that 23 truck benson realizes the run that the, the 88 is getting that crafton was able to clear the inside line jumps down to the bottom at the last possible second gets his nose underneath benson Slides up off turn number four. Gets a good side draft. They're dead even side by side down the front straight away. Benson, his momentum building back up. They're going to have to rely on a push. Heading down in the one and two yet again. Crafton dives it off in there. Just a holy grail send in the turns three, or excuse me, one and two. So watch it for the final time down the back straight away. Crafton dives off in the three and four and does it. Clears that 23 truck off of turn four. Slides up in front of Johnny Benson. Moves down the block to 15 of Mitchell. Matt Crafton is an MG Truck Series winner. That's going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe. I hope to see you all next time. And until then, peace.